Hello, Ross here, and a very warm welcome to this walkthrough for Celestial Guitar. This library captures a very particular sound, and that is recording guitar going through a huge reverb, through two incredible amps, and out into a studio space. Doing it this way ensures that all the weight and body of the sound that you get from amplifying reverb um, is captured and it's especially that huge wash and that, that bloom that fills up the studio space. And this is as opposed to recording dry and adding reverb after, which never quite sounds the same. This way it retains all the chaos and the natural movement of air and all that good stuff that can be found from recording it this way. And here's how it sounds. So that's the DI here, which is the chain DI going straight in. It's a very clean direct kind of sound. And then here we've got the ambient. Capturing the sound of the two amplifiers in the studio room there. And then this is amplifier one, which is a Marshall head. And amplifier number two, which is a bad cat head. And the differences between the two are fairly subtle. This has a bit more body and roundness, and this is a higher, bit of a, more of a bite in the high end. And what's nice between the two is you can create your own stereo space with the panning sliders here. back to the DI here. Which is a real rounded, smooth, clean sound. And we can layer in a bit of the ambient here. And it's possible to tame some of the um, tail with the release here. Which can be useful if you want to play a little bit faster. 
but also useful combined with the effects up here. So Aurora is reverb. which is essentially stacking reverb on top of reverb. If we bring back the release here. Then that's Aurora doing most of the work. Shimmer is chorus. some pretty interesting stuff going on and then flare is a screamer distortion it just adds a bit of burn to the sound and we can lay some up some pretty cool stuff and then coming back to the attack and release let's just head back to the di here if we turn the attack up we can start getting these quite nice swell sounds So that's the clean singles patch, which is five round robin and has two velocity layers. And you can see from the effects, attack release and the mixer controls, you've got um, a good amount of control over the sounds that you can, you can produce. And Similar is the octave pluck. Which is uh, the low E and high E plucked um, 
in octaves. And let's have a look at the arps here. So in the left, there are the minor, and in the right, major. And these are recorded at two speeds. Uh, the lower velocity triggers the slower, and the high velocity triggers faster. So there are the arps, and let's have a look at the chords bowed. Super, super nice sounds. Chords minor major are plucked and strummed, again triggered by velocity. So that's the strum, and that's the pluck. And there are four variations of each, so four round robins essentially. So you can get a really big, quite a big sound, um, that nice amount of weight behind it. So there's just this beautiful, this beautiful reverberant sound um, that can really add quite a bit, supporting larger orchestral elements. as well as on its own, of course. Let's just go back. Let's just go back to the um, DI there. And then moving on to clean bowed, which is the low E string bowed.
So again, a very clean, direct sound coming from the DI. Let's have a listen to the ambient. So there's uh, quite a bit of the sort of natural bow scratch that you get in there, but it gets really washed out by the reverb and sounds. Sounds pretty nice. And sticking with the clean sounds, let's have a look at the tremolo. There's some really super nice stuff there. And then the harmonics. See, these are recorded from two different positions on the neck of the guitar. This is position one. It's a far more percussive sound. bit with the release you can hear that in the the pre-delay which is baked in so that's just something to be aware of there let's have a listen to the ambient mic
And this can be quite a fun one to um, pull the release right back. And if we get some delay on the go here. some pretty cool stuff and position two much more mellow sound Okay, so let's move on to the distorted um, articulations. These are the harmonic position one with distortion. So you get a really clean, almost synth-like sound through the DI. And a much grittier sound coming through the amps. And that's where you can hear the difference between the amps a bit more clearly. Distorted singles. distorted tremolo, which is bowed.
They're just some really, really interesting textures coming out of there. Distorted tap chords. I really, really, really love this one. Again, minors in the left and majors in the right. So these are created from knocking the guitar, um, knocking the actual body of the guitar instead of playing the strings. Really, really love that one. Um, very, very cool sounding. So distorted bowed is similar to uh, clean bowed in the sense that it's the low E, um, but this is stretched out a little bit and sounds like this. So again, some pretty cool stuff there. So that's the um, kind of core of the library. And then Alpha Centauri is a collection of patches, atonal pads and singles that have been created using the source material, the source recordings, um, just to create some additional content. It's more a bit kind of sound designy. Um, so we listen to the singles here. So Cosmic Trips. And the homeomorphisms I found really useful. They're a little bit more synth-like. They're taken from the singles patches. They give quite interesting textures, all slightly different. Again, quite kind of, you know, angelic, celestial sounds. Thank you. 
in space. This one I love layering, it kind of just pokes itself through, creating some really interesting textures. Let's dip into the atonal. So Event Horizon, just using the mod wheel here, and this controls the density and chaos. And you can get some pretty fun stuff uh, from this one if you start throwing some effects on there. So let's get the delay on the go and a bit of the flare, perhaps some shimmer, uh, doing some kind of crazy things. So there we go. Lots of fun to be had. And machine heads, again, I really like. So these are the um, kind of pickings and scratchings uh, up at the top of the guitar, the head of the guitar, around the machine heads where the strings meet at the head. Some are processed. Some are just more straight. It's just a good, good collection of these. And some nice dry fret runs. And again, checking some effects on there, you can have a lot of fun. Space sickness is really simple, but oh, I just really like it. A real kind of cool sound and then the valves uh, these are steam valve one and valve two I just really really love all that stuff it can be really cool for um, chucking in it can become quite percussive um, it's yeah it can be pretty interesting to play around with those sounds um, especially with gating and tremolos and that kind of thing. Um, and last not, uh, and last but not least, let's have a listen to the pads. Broken tractor beam.
Very cool, kind of ethereal pad and frozen cargo. More cool sounds and ignition. This operates at three um, velocity ranges. So the first one gives you the full uh, kind of ignition, if you like. And, uh, this is the softest, and the middle velocity gives you a shorter rev up. And the third velocity, which is the, the hardest, um, brings you straight in. That's a lot of fun there. And Lost in Space, the long version. Quite a nice evolving pad. More mass. And last but not least, the end. So this responds to velocity as well, with a softer attack on a lower velocity and a more immediate on a higher velocity. So there we have it. That is Celestial Guitar. Thank you very, very much for watching. Um, hope that was useful. And any questions at all, please do feel free to fire them over. And I really look forward to sharing more with you very soon.